Well, my name is Darius Garrett. I'm one of the original Freedom Writers that co-wrote the book, The Freedom Writers Diary. How many of you guys read the book, The Freedom Writers Diary? All right, all one of y'all. Good. <laughs> and how many people seen the movie Freedom Writers? Oh, there we go. That's what everybody remembers. Okay, perfect. Well, since you guys seen the movie Freedom Writers, I'll be glad to let you know, like you've seen in the, in the clip right here, is the fact that Marcus, in the film, is based off of myself and my story. The significance of my story is that I lost over 35 friends and family members to violence, suicide, drug overdose, gang violence as well, and that was just all before the age of 16. I thought that I wasn't going to be able to uh, live past the age of 16 because of the simple fact that I knew how I was living. I knew the lifestyle that I had going on for myself. And I knew that death was definitely around the corner for me. So then, she said, well, Darius, what did you write? And I was like, I, I, I didn't write nothing, Miss Girl. And she said, no, 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 I know you wrote something. What did you write? And I was like, well, the first thing that came to my mind. And she said, well, what was that? I said, pizza? <laughs> Everyone just busted up laughing. So then, she said, pizza? Okay, okay, what else, what else did you write? I said, um, well, I wrote Pepsi. <laughs> she was like, Pepsi? Why would you write that? And so everyone's laughing. The genius of Erin Gruel is the fact that as a teacher, she took so much interest in us that by that time, that that second outburst the last came out, any teacher would have sent me with a referral to detention. Because they may have said that I was being a disruption or that I was trying to be the class clown. But she took that moment and made that moment a teachable moment. So what she said was, well, why is it that you wrote pizza? And I'm like, well, hell, I was hungry. And she was like, okay, why are you hungry? I said, because I didn't have money for lunch. She was like, well, why don't you have money for lunch? I was like, because I'm poor. Well, By this time, forget about your friends, forget about your family, forget about everybody. <laughs> right now, today is all about you. Today, you're going to be selfish. Today you're going to say, you know what, no more. Because that's how I felt. I, I refuse to be the victim. I refuse to be the person that fall into what society said that I was going to be. I refuse to be the person that my teacher said I was going to be. When they say, you know what, just let him fail. We're going to get paid anyway. Just let him fail. We'll move him from the school system to the judicial system to the prison system, and we don't have to worry about him no more. I'm glad that I'm able to come here today and be able to speak to you guys, because I know that there are some of you guys in this room today that have been through some of the same things that I've possibly been through that have thought about suicide, that have thought about ending the law. But I hope you guys realize that you don't have to do that. You don't have to succumb to that. Just because your parents say you're like an other parent or, or just because you look in the mirror and you see something that you don't like, you can change that. It doesn't have to be that way. So I thank you guys for having me here today. And I appreciate, I appreciate you guys having me here this morning. And if you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you.